this Autodesk Vault Tips and Tricks video. What I'll be doing in this video is taking you through a, a brief explanation as to how vault searching works because if you just put some words in and search in vault sometimes you can get some unpredictable results which might leave you scratching your head thinking huh what's going on here well I didn't search for that well this this method to the bizarreness that you'll see when you search. So first things first, there's two ways, well two primary ways, two obvious ways of searching inside Vault. You've got this bar up here, this is like the quick search, and you've also got tools and find up here. I'll be covering both of these throughout uh, this video. So starting with the search bar up here at the top. Now this is the, I guess, the most straightforward and quickest way, most convenient way for sure for search inside Vault. And just say for example, I want to search for a file called bracket 3. Well, no, let's just say underscore underscore bracket 3. So I want to find files that are called underscore bracket 3. That's not too much to ask. That's what I want to find and let's go and find it. And this is the search results that I get. And you think to yourself, hang it about. How does that in any way correspond to what I've just typed up here? How's that found from that? You're like, what? Right, well there's there's a reason for that. Okay, so this quick search up at the top, it works on what's called a token-based search system. It looks at the text that you've typed and it breaks it up into tokens. In this case, underscore is the first token, then we've got the word bracket, which is the second token, and then the character three, which is the third token. And it finds all files which matches and satisfies all three token results. So this file here, this AE5402-003, you might think, well, hang on a minute, hasn't got a bracket in the file name? Yes, well, it searches all properties, so the chances are, somewhere within the properties, it's got the word bracket. So, let's have a look, see if we can find it. Uh, so, in the comment, I mean, this is quite obscure, in the comment, uh, it has the word bracket, so it's actually found it based on a comment, a check-in comment, or a copy design comment, which is, um, it's not ideal, but that's how it works. It's a quick search based on all properties. Uh, the rest of the files here, so this file here, it's found bracket three. And well, let's just use this one as an example. So underscore bracket, it's found that based on the two tokens. And the three, it's probably uh, some, there'll be the, the, the character three somewhere in one of the properties. I don't know where it is, it'll be in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's how the quick search works. It's a token based system. and no matter what you try, even if you try, you know, putting in extra you know, quotes and that sort of stuff, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. It still bases its search on that token system. Now you can kind of go one step further and then hit this little button here, expand the query builder, and you can search based on multiple properties. So instead of searching for all properties, you can say, well, only find me files that have bracket three in the file name. And that brings back a hell of a lot more results. However, it's still a token based system. So I found this file here, which has bracket and three in the file name. So hopefully that explains why the quick search brings back the results that it does. If you're thinking to yourself, well, right, that's all fair enough, but I want to find, you know, explicit values. I want to search for bracket three and only return results that I actually type. Well, you can't really do it in the quick search. It is just a quick search. To do what you want them to do, Go to the tools menu at the top and then go to find. In the advanced search, you want to probably, I guess, do a file search based on the file name. And then you want to make sure the condition is, and then type in the value. So for example, um, bracket three, let's stick it with bracket three. So what you want to do is put an asterisk in there, which is a wildcard search. So you want to find anything that is wildcard bracket three wildcard. So we're finding all files that have text before the word bracket and three. If you were to just go without the wildcard, it would only find files that were called bracket three. So you, that might be what you're after, but I just want to find all files that have bracket three in the file name. Add and then find now. And there we go. So what we have here is files that have that exact text string in the file name. And that'll work for any property, part number, description, anything you want. Make sure the condition is, is and then make sure you put your wildcards in there if you want to be a bit more flexible as um, instead of just finding files of exact that name. Okay, so that's in a nutshell how the searching works. Hopefully that made sense and explained a few things. 
sort of cleared up a few bits of strange behavior that you might have been seeing inside Vault. So if you found that helpful, please press like on the video. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel and put a comment down below. And until next time, guys, thank you very much and see ya.